All right, so we are going to start off with gold. All right, so let me hide the drawings. So just looking at this, from what I already see, the market is gradually going up. And we just had the big sell-off last week and we're now reaching a level of support and it's also where i have a demand zone drawn up at so i would like for it to kind of come back to this area it's getting close but if we get the confirmation to buy before now then we're going to go ahead and take that buy but we also got a lot of divergence going on so let me go back to my drawings and all right. So here, price is already showing resistance at this level or showing a bit of rejection just by these candles right here on the daily. You see, market has, or the market has been kind of consolidating in this price range or in this zone. So we're waiting to get a definitive move or an impulsive move that will show us the direction that the market may want to go in. And we will look at um, the fundamental analysis after all of this, but that's what I'm seeing right now. I do want to focus in on this wick right here. Because the market showed that it wanted to come down here. So I'm looking for it to come back and fill in this wick right here. Hopefully, we can get a move like this, come to the demand zone, buy up. That's the move that I'm looking for. Now, if it breaks through this and decides to sell like crazy we do have some more zones that could i'm gonna leave that one i'm gonna just try me a new one so this zone right here will be the next zone that i will look for the market to move to For this week, and then if it go past this one, then I know where zone is going to go to next. So I can, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. Sorry, but I do not see it going past the zone. Um, truth be told. I do not really see it going past this zone. We have a lot of divergence going on here. So we have the divergence. We got it at a level of structure. And all we're waiting on now is our impulsive move or our confirmation candles to let us know, okay, this market is ready to buy up. And that is when I will get ready to trigger that trade. But nothing just really, really, really special here. Um, we're just waiting on the market to tell us where we want to move to, honestly. So that's what we're going to wait for. You guys see that we do have the uptrend right here. 
I'm not trying to mark that, but we got the uptrend right here. Now, if we do break this trend, then I I may sell zone to zone. Um, if you end up breaking this trend line, then I will wait. I want to look for a move like this. If it ends up breaking this trend line, I will look for the retest, and then we could possibly sell it down to this zone, which we will then take the buy. Take the buy back up. So we could have that scenario as well. So we would just have to wait and see. We'll see what the market is giving us at that moment. And we're going to react to it. All right. This is just my analysis as well. It's just what I feel like may happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. But just from recent trades that I've taken, recent trades that I've studied, um, market typically makes these type of moves and we will see how it will react this time. So that's what I'm looking for with the gold for this week coming up. Nas, we had a big sell off last week. Um, I may call out some Nas trades. I'm not really sure, but it won't hurt to look at it. There we go. All right. So last week I was looking for a move like this, but it bounced back um, up and rejected out of this demand zone and bought back up. So kind of got a break here, but it came right down to this level of support, which we marked up over here. So it came back to that level of support and rejected. And now it's going back up, but we still can see a sell off. So, do not count the sell-off out yet. It can still come, and we'll wait to see when news comes out and react off of that. But that will, we'll have to go off of that based on Monday through Thursday morning. So Euro NZD. I'll say this was probably trade of the week last week. Great trade. It has now come up to a level of resistance and is rejecting off of it now. So it came up to this level of resistance over here. And it entered this zone and now it's selling back off. So I'm looking, I believe that it may come back and fill in this zone here. Or come back and fill in all of this area and then buy up. That's what I want to happen. Is it going to happen? Not sure. But in between, we do have an order block right here. So I'm looking forward to come back and retest this order block. If it does. We're triggering that if we get the impulse to move and get our confirmations, other confirmations to line up. I will be looking to take that trade for Euro NZD. So I'm looking forward to come back and retrace to this order block and then buy back up. We already know that it's wanting to buy up. Now we we just got the impulse to move. Now we're looking for the correction and then a continuation. So that's what we want to see from this market. Let's look at the daily. So, yeah, that's what I want to look for. That's the move that I want to look for for Euro NCD. So we'll wait for that to happen. And once it does, we're set to go.
All right. So Jimmy P J P Y. Hmm. So it just broke a major um level of structure last week. We saw that it went past where it broke the trend line. It broke both levels of support. It broke out of broke out of the demand zone. And now what I want to look for is for this to retrace back up into this zone and then sail back off. So I want this to come back up here and then boom, possibly sail down to this zone. That's the move that I want to look for. And that's the move I do believe will happen. Honestly. But there's two scenarios for this. You guys know I like to always give myself two scenarios just in case the first one do not play out according to plan. So it could retrace up to here and sail down or it could retrace back up to this trend line and then sail down. Because remember, it broke two levels. So it could retrace back to either one of those levels and then sail back down off of that. So we will just wait and see what will happen. We're going to be very, very patient. It looks like it's already wanted to retrace back up. Now we're just going to see which um, level it rejects off of. And then what could possibly happen is it could retrace up to here, sell off for a little bit, and then come back up to this trend line and sell off again. So it could work up even further. We saw that with USDJPY um, last week where it did that. So we're going to be careful. We're going to be patient, and we're going to just look to see both areas. We're going to watch both areas. All right, now Euro USD. So I'm still waiting on this move to play out. I'm looking for it to come back up to this trend line, hopefully. But we also have sort of a secondary trend line here. So we're going to wait and see. Got some divergence going on as well. Yeah, we got heavy divergence going on. All right, so that's Euro USD. Um, if we get the impulsal move, or if we get our confirmations, I do want to pop in this trade for a sale. Let's look to our left. Boom. Major level of structure here. This is a level of structure here. So I made my zone big because the wick is all the way up here, but this is on a weekly. So let's go to a daily chart. Let's see. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a strong level of structure here. And I'm definitely looking to catch this sell off in this market. We will see how this play out for sure. So we got divergence on the four hour time frame. And everything is looking decent right now. So it's in a strong zone right now. We're going to wait and see. So since we're only getting divergence and um, everything goes lined up on a four-hour time frame, it's about as long as I'm going to look to hold this trade. Now, London session, 
is the possible time to look to try to take that trade and may play out during this time or during that time. So we're definitely going to watch that over tonight, actually, overnight. We're going to watch that overnight. All right, so GBP USD. Um, actually ended up going lower than we expected from the demand zones. So now let's look at what level of structure is it reaching to now. So price is currently right here. And we have a little area right here. So it broke through this level. This is the next possible level that I'm looking for this market to come to. And I want to see how it reacts in this range. I want to see how it reacts in this range. So once the market gets here, that's when we'll come and look at GBP USD. Maybe look for a buy. Maybe. All right. USD JPY. Another great trade from last week. Really great trade from last week. Couple of things I'm looking for. So, actually, they've already about taken place. All right. So, we have gotten our two candles. Now, I want to see if the market is going to pull back a little bit on this setup. Got the two candles and see All right, so we don't have any type of divergence or anything going on. So this market, I'm looking for it to come back down to this zone, actually. I want to see if it's going to come back down to this zone. See if we can get a possible better setup. I'm going to set it for right here. I'm going to set that for right there. So very simple setup right here. We're just looking for it to reject out of this zone again and buy up. Actually, if I can get it to come down to this trend line, that would be even better. So that's actually what I want to see. I want to see it come down to this trend line. Ignore some of these markup guys. This is from a training <laughs> that I did, and I just forgot to clear my charts. So, yes, our major level of structure is the area that it is in right now. USDJPY has been very, very, very bullish for a while now. 
I'm looking forward to continue on that. We just had a major sell-off. So I'm looking for this market to cause a correction in the market. And just so you guys can see the major level of structure, here it is. So this trend right here is what I'm basing my trade off of. And we got the first retest right here. Boom, it sold up. Now, I'm looking for it to do the same thing on this second retest and buy up again, possibly go higher, creating a higher high and a higher low here in this area or based off of this move. But we will see. We got a little bit of hidden divergence going on here on the daily time frame. So, yeah, I feel like this is getting ready to buy up pretty, pretty soon. Um. Again, we're going to be patient. I do like these two candles here that we got out of this zone. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a filler. We're going to pop a filler for this right here. For USDJPY. So I'm going to pop a very, very, very light lot size. And... We're going to let it rock. We're going to let it rock. So I'm going to pop a filler. If it comes back, then I'll pop my real life size for you at CJPY. But that's the move that I'm looking for this market to make. It's really the only scenario that I have for the buy right now because of the area that it, that it is in. If it ends up going past this zone, then, of course, we're going to now look to the sale and try to sell it down to at least this area right here. So I'm going to look to sell it down to here. If we get it breaking past this zone here. All right, so USD CAD. We got the retest of this right here. So we got the impulse to move. I'm looking forward to retest this level of structure that it just broke, which is the resistance. And hopefully we can get this buy up. So we finished our teacup set up. And there's two areas now that this market could possibly come to. I already has retested here, so we either can see a buy up up here or it's going to break through this, come down and retest this area and buy up, or it's going to come down to the trend line. So right here at the bottom of this demand zone is where the trend line is set. And that's the possible area that it could come to. So I'm just set this right here. Boom. Then I'm going to set an alert for right here. So those are the two areas I'm looking for this market to come to before it starts it or before it gets back to its continuation. And then you guys know if it breaks both of these, then we're going to look for a sale opportunity. And that would be something like this. Boom. 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 So that's a possible setup as well. But I, I just like to always give myself multiple scenarios just in case um, a market does not play out the way that I want it to. Um, GBP USD. Looking for this to come up to here. 
sell off. That's if our fundamental analysis lines up with this. So we will see about that. If it does, sell opportunity is there. Great British Pound has been selling off for a while now. And why not go ahead and join in on this and trade with the trend? Yes, we missed some opportunities up here, but that was always back in October. We can only look at the now, which is right here. So we have the first downtrend, but we also have this. Oh, not trying to do that. Where my trend line. There we go. We also have this. So this could come back up, retrace to the trend line, and then boom, sell off from there. All right. So those are the possible setups. Let me go back through everything, make sure everything is good. Make sure it's really what I want to look for. You guys know if you need to make adjustments, we will throughout the week. We will definitely make our adjustments. Um. I think I might go ahead and take Euro USD. USD JP wise and profit. I'm gonna pop a filler for Euro. So yes, I think it's pretty I think I'm pretty good to go now. I will pop a filler for USD or gold, I mean, <laughs> but too much in consolidation right now. I want to wait. I think I want to wait. Yeah, I'm going to be more patient on that. I'm going to wait for that. So that is the fundamental, I mean, technical side of our trades. Now let's get into the fundamental. So let's go over what happened last week. So the U.S. dollar got very bullish news um, last week. So, yeah, the U.S. dollar got bullish news last week. And you guys know if the U.S. dollar goes up, gold goes down so we may get that little push down here to um the level that we wanted to come to and um that would trigger our trade or we could just get it bouncing off this trend line and that could trigger our trade so either one um i'll be happy with 
just whichever one gives us our or just whichever one gives the setup that we want. So this is what we're gonna look for. Let's see what news articles came out. As you guys can see, like I'm not really going super, super deep into it, um, honestly. Just keeping it simple right now, should be told. Keeping it very, very, very simple. Um, go to news. Words. So some news coming out um, that's speaking on the COVID fears again, um, pretty much what we saw last week as well. That's why the Great British Pound took a big hit for some of its trades. Um, you guys can see Great British Pound was selling down a lot. If it will load, but there are some economies uh, very fearful of COVID, the new variant, and we could see that possibly affect a couple of economies and our trades. So we're going to wait and see what the market shows us. We're going to go based off of what we see, not what we think. And we're going to be patient, wait for our setups, but that's mainly what I'm seeing from here right now. Um, I do want to look into the economy news as well, so I'm going to look over a couple more. All right, so have a couple things to watch for for next week. A lot of big meetings, and also NFP week is coming up as well. Actually, I believe it's this week because it is the first week of a new month, or it will be in a couple of days. So you guys know that non-former payroll releases that first Friday or the second Friday just depends sometimes, but that's going to release and we expect to have a raise in our jobs or increase in jobs that were formed within the last month. And also we expect our unemployment rate to go down. So we are expecting those things to occur. Hold on. Go back. And the Euro is releasing their news as well for their CPI and JPY as well. So, very big news week. Chairman Powell will speak today, well, tomorrow, but it'll be today once you guys see this video. And he speaks. So, very big news week again, um, which could definitely affect a couple of trades. And we're expecting bullish news for the U.S. dollar. We will see. <laughs> we will definitely see, but we are expecting bullish news, just letting you guys know. And the euro is also expecting bullish news. 
So, with that being said, gold may not get a big increase or big push up this week. Euro USD, I am expecting more bullish news for the US dollar, which would push our trade down for the sale. That is exactly what we want. Um, USD JPY, bullish news again. That's what we want. We're looking for it to push our trade up for the buy. If we can get that, that would be great. That would be great. So, hopefully we can get that news to come out. Hopefully, USD CAD will have been um, making this move as well. Once that news releases, we could get this rejection off of here, and it could push up from this level up. So, if the U.S. dollar gets this bullish news, everything will play out pretty well, in my opinion. And that could push gold down to the level that I really wanted to come to, which is here. And then it could push up or it could push it all the way down to here. So either way, everything could play out pretty well. This could set gold up for the week after next and or next week. And we can get that great setup from there. Uh, we could catch smaller movements trading zone to zone for gold. We will have to see. But so far, the news or the fundamental part of our analysis could line up perfectly with our technicals as long as everything just goes according to plan and it pushes it to the areas that we needed to push to and we get the confirmations that we need on our technical side. So therefore, we can get everything that we need for our fundamental analysis. So updates would definitely be released throughout the week. Make sure you guys have your noties on and let's get to a bag.